Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to write a C++ program using standard set. Uh, standard set is an associative container that contains a sort set of unique objects of type key. Standard set does not allow duplicate elements. Okay, so let's jump into Visual Studio Code and write the program with standard set. So first off, I'm going to create a new file here, new file, and we're going to call that set.cpp. Okay, first thing is include IO stream. For standard input output, then include set to use the set standard set. Include vector to use uh, dynamic arrays in C++ then using namespace standard okay in the main uh, I'm gonna create a set so call the set string uh, numbers Okay, then I'm going to create a vector, vect of unsorted numbers. So 4, 1, 3, 3, 2, one I'm sorry five and five <coughs> and notice basically uh, we have duplicate um, elements here okay next thing I want to do is uh, I'm gonna loop through the vector so do four in C equals zero C less than vec size C++ okay and in the vec I'm, I'm sorry in the loop I'm gonna insert into our set so number numbers insert vec C okay and then I'm gonna loop um, before I loop, I want to know how many elements in the set. So I can go C out set of set size equal number numbers size and line. Then I want to loop through the set. So in order for me to loop through the set, I need to create an iterator. So for set string iterator it equal numbers uh, begin and uh, it not equal numbers n and increment okay then I can do C out star IT and then do a C out and line okay uh, next I like to find out if my number is inside the set so I can do I can use a find statement so to this to do this we also need to create an iterator so set string iterator it equal to number find four right 
and if i t not equal to numbers n then we know that um, c out we can say it's found else c out not found end line okay and then we do a return zero so this should complete the example we need to save the file and uh, let's see if the program compiles So to compile the program, we do G++ standard equal C++ 14 and then set CPP. Okay, it compiles. So let's do a clear. We do A dot out. And as you can see here, the set size is 5, right? And you can see it print out 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are no duplicate keys in our set. And the final result, it, it was able to find number 4. Okay, so thank you so much for watching the video. Please remember to press like and subscribe and to view more of these great tutorials.